Hello, my name is Lara Beth Lillybridge, and I write under the name L.B. Lillybridge. And I'm going to read you today an unpublished story called Big Fluffy Meets Tiny Cat. And this story is inspired by my real life cats. And my assistant, Ryan Fetting, who's my illustrator, is going to show you. This is our tiny cat, Anaconda, who is named after the world's largest snake. And she is full grown at two years old and only six pounds. And, and here is Grunion, who is our inspiration for Big Fluffy. As you can see, he is big and fluffy. Thank you, Ryan. So since our cats are not very cooperative, I am going to read using this for Big Fluffy and this for Tiny Cat. This Tiny Cat actually belongs to Anaconda, who likes to carry it around and it's actually kind of crunchy right now. Big Fluffy was big and fluffy. Everyone admired his fur. <clears throat> big Fluffy had black and brown tiger stripes. This cat does not. Big Fluffy had four perfectly white paws. Big Fluffy had magnificent ears tipped in black. There was nothing better than being big and fluffy. When everyone came to visit, they always told him how wonderfully big and fluffy he was. However, sometimes they wanted to give him too many pets. When that happened, Big Fluffy showed them his sharp and pointy teeth. <laughs> then Big Fluffy would stroll majestically away so they could appreciate his fluffy tail. Big Fluffy had a just fine life. He lived in a house with two big people and two small people. He had wet food. He had dry food. There were always plenty of books and papers for him to lie on and get in the way when he felt the need to lie on papers and get in the way. Big Fluffy even had a couple of mousy friends to play with when he felt like playing chase. Big Fluffy liked to chase his mousy friends, but he never ate them. That would be bad manners. Big Fluffy didn't need anything else for his just fine life. But sometimes, in the middle of the night, when all his people were asleep, Big Fluffy felt a strange, empty feeling deep inside his fur. When that happened, he yowled a sad and empty song. The people didn't like his sad, empty song, particularly in the middle of the night. Mow! But in the morning, Big Fluffy refused to think about the strange empty feeling and pretended it never happened. One day, the mom type person came home with a box. The box wiggled. The box mewed. Big Fluffy did not think this box was a very good idea. The mom person opened the box. Inside was a tiny cat. Big Fluffy wanted the mop type person to take this box and the tiny cat somewhere else. The mom person did not do that. Look, Big Fluffy, we got you a friend. This is Tiny Cat. Tiny Cat was small. Tiny Cat had black and silver tiger stripes. You have to use your imagination. Tiny Cat had black paws. Tiny Cat's fur was short and sleek. Big Fluffy did not need a tiny cat. Big Fluffy did not want a tiny cat. Big Fluffy thought the tiny cat should go back in the box and go to someone else's home. Big Fluffy yowled a terrible yowl. Yow! Tiny cat, oops, wrong way, just stood there. Big Fluffy hissed. Oops, I got hair in my mouth. A terrible hiss. <sighs> tiny cat yawned. I'm bored. Big Fluffy arched his back so he was even bigger than he normally was. Tiny Cat just licked her paw. Big Fluffy stomped away. He suddenly wanted to lick his own paw, but he didn't want anyone to think he was a copycat. Big Fluffy went into the hall closet where he could lick his paw all alone. The closet door closed behind him. It was dark in the closet. Big Fluffy pushed on the door with his nose. The door did not budge. Big Fluffy would have a just fine life here in the closet. Big Fluffy curled up next to some old boots. Big Fluffy felt that strange empty feeling again, but he was not going to yowl. He couldn't help it. Yowl, 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 yowl. Big Fluffy heard footsteps. 
the door opened. What are you doing in the closet? The mom person asked. Big Fluffy stood up and stretched his nose towards the mom person for a nice ear scratch. Then he saw something. Right behind the mom person was that tiny cat. Big Fluffy did not want a tiny cat. Big Fluffy did not need a tiny cat. Big Fluffy thought the tiny cat should go back in the box and find a new home. Big Fluffy turned around three times and laid back down with his head facing the wall. Don't you want to come out of the closet? The mom person asked. Big Fluffy did not answer. He heard the door close and the mom person walk away. Big Fluffy turned this way. Big Fluffy turned that way. He licked his perfectly white paws and smoothed his black tip ears. The strange empty feeling crept back in. He was not going to yowl this time, not even a little yowl. Big Fluffy had a just fine life. Big Fluffy couldn't help it. Yowl! This time, he didn't hear any footsteps. The mom person did not come. Yowl, yowl, yowl! The mom person still didn't come. Big Fluffy made the loudest, saddest yowl of his entire life. Yowl! He heard something. It was a rustle, a very tiny rustle. Big Fluffy peeked out from under his tail. There was a paw under the door, a tiny paw. The paw rattled. The door wiggled. The tiny paw rattled the door harder. The door opened. Tiny Cat walked into the closet. Her tail was high. Again, some imagination. Her nose was high. Tiny Cat was not afraid of the dark closet at all. Big Fluffy did not know what to do. He wanted to hiss his terrible hiss. He wanted to yowl a terrible yowl. But he still had that strange, empty feeling. He made a very small, very sad meow. Tiny Cat sniffed Fluffy Cat's nose. Tiny Cat sniffed Big Fluffy's ears. Tiny Cat curled up on top of Big Fluffy and tucked her tail over her nose. Big Fluffy wasn't sure he liked this. Big Fluffy did not want a tiny cat. Big Fluffy did not need a tiny cat. Big Fluffy had a just time life, just fine life. Tiny Cat started to purr. <sniffs> Big Fluffy tucked his tail over his nose. The strange, empty feeling was gone. The end. <laughs>